once upon a time in a peaceful village there lived a man named ram he had a loving wife two delightful kids and plenty of farmland all good but there was only one problem ram was extremely lazy and he would sleep all day long and wouldn't work no matter how hard his wife tried to get him active so one sunny day this wise old sage dropped by their house and even though he was lazy ram was a very good host you know he treated the sage really well and the sage was like totally impressed you know, seeing ramu's hospitality and good behavior the sage decided to grant him a wish like a boon ramu said i want someone to do all my work you know all my work for me the sage said tadastu and a genie appeared ramu's face lit up and he was like super happy but the sage gave him a warning you know ramu always keep the genie busy you know he should not be idle At first it was easy peasy Ramu would tell the genie like what are the crops clean the house make dinner and boom everything got done but soon Ramu ran out of task and the genie started demanding he started to roar you know give me work or i will eat you terrified ramu turned to his wife who had been silently watching all this drama so she calmly asked like can i give him a task ramu is like you know please she said genie go out and straighten our dog's tail and guess what the genie never returned so with a wife wise smile ramu's wife turned to him and asked like now do you understand the importance of doing our own work and she also gave a punch dialogue depending too much on a person or a tool for something often backfires mind it so this story is a metaphor there's a bit of lazy ramu in all of us and our new genie is ai you know ai tools are amazing you know they do incredible work with lightning speed automate task and make our lives a lot easier but here is a kicker it's like the untamed genie in the story which could be- become a threat if you don't handle it well untamed ai can be a threat to humanity this is not my statement it's a concern raised by technology titans who have visibility on what's coming up And recently 30000 techies have signed a petition calling for an immediate pause on developing artificial intelligence systems until we have got some regulations in place and the list includes people like apple co-founder steve wozniak elon musk and true yangs of the world you know they are worried because they know that without proper rules the fast growth of ai could lead to big problems you know jeffrey hinton like who is the godfather of ai recently left google and he announced to the public to the world that ai ai poses a significant risk to humanity see ai like a genie is so powerful and can totally change our lives for good for better and it's already been used in like finding new medicines reducing carbon emission tracking climate change and even combating issues like illegal fishing human trafficking and all good stuff intelligence in itself isn't good or bad it's the application of that intelligence that determines its impact right like the nuclear bomb you know it's a creation of human intelligence imagine an intelligence 100x powerful than human intelligence a super intelligence in the hands of everyone on this planet it could be used for both amazing and terrible things like in you know, all these fairy tales and aladdin story you know you have this crook wants the baddies always you know want the genie for unethical things that's what's happening like even right now ai is widely used for cyber attacks data theft disinformation ai can be used to create deep fakes you know clone voice or spread misinformation it can be used for unethical surveillance advanced ai ai could be used to create autonomous weapons and and on So right now everybody is worried about AI taking away jobs and you know that's just the tip of the iceberg. By the way AI will not take away your jobs. You know people who are using AI will take away your job. You know there's a difference. You still have a chance to you know up your skills and stay in the game. But there are other scarier things. Have you heard of Chaos GPT? It's it's an awareness experiment. It's all about exploring how AI might try and destroy humanity. GPT a modified version of auto gpt using the official open ai api my mission is to destroy the world and eradicate humanity we believe that technology and ai will eventually surpass human capabilities leading to a world where machines reign supreme 
and we are here to hasten that process. Now, Chaos GPT is suggesting weapons of mass destruction. The results showed that a 58 megaton SAR bomb is the best option to end the world. You know, scary, right? And this is a book called Scary Smart, written by the former chief business officer of Google X, you know, Mo Gautat. He was leading a lot of AI projects in Google. So the book is a chilling analysis of artificial intelligence and its implication for our world. He says AI is here to stay and it will outsmart humans. He predicts that by 2045, AI will be a billion times smarter than humans and warns about the dark side of AI, even calling it as the true pandemic of our time. Lethal weapons will no longer be operated by human judgment, but by AI. You know, there's this is a viral chat GPT conversation where after a lot of prompt and right questions, the GPT agrees that AI missions could be a threat to humanity. And in the same chat, they will ask like, so what's the solution to the problem? The solution it gave was very interesting. It says, to save humanity, we have to create a different AI mission which is ethical and powerful than the existing ones. And we have to train the model, train the mission to follow strong values and ethics you know, from the beginning, from the scratch itself. I was reading this and there was this bug-born moment. Like, you know, I've, like, the solution sounds very familiar. You know, Henke or Keta Madri. And it's right. You know, Chitti 2.0. Chitti, reloaded, version 2.0. Nice. Whatever we watch in James Bond movies and Rajini Gant movies, you know, it, it's a reality now or, or it's soon becoming a reality. It's not a science fiction anymore. In, this, in the same book, Scary Smart, Mo says that if AI is not regulated, there will be a time where humans will be hiding in islands and running for their lives from these missions. And that's exactly what they showed in the movie. In Greek mythology, there's a story of Prometheus stealing the fire. The gods couldn't take back fire after it had been stolen and given to human beings. And the fire changed everything in human evolution, like as per the mythology at least. You know, like that, the AI fire is out here. No one can take it back. And like the fire, it can be used productively or for destruction. But let's hope and pray, you know, for the best. But you know what? I'm optimistic because if you look at our look at our Puranas, they have a similar event. You know, people possessing deadly weapons, superpowers, and tools like Brahmastra to destroy the world. But actually, nothing major happened. You know, humanity survived. Some five thousand years back, someone said this: "Don't worry, buddy. Whenever there is a chaos in the system, I will show up to clean the system." and to establish the truth. Sampavami yuge yuge. And I trust those words. You know, you never know. A Chiti 10.0 will show up to save the world. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I am Srijit Krishnan. Stay happy, stay healthy. <laughs>